Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually in Paris at the moment. We're leaving to go to Dubai today, but I thought I would start the vlog this morning for you guys. Funny thing is I was actually tossing up between vlogging Positano or Paris and thank God I vlogged Positano because our trip in Paris has just been so chaotic. I feel like I've been running around all day and I feel like it would have been boring regardless. So I'm glad that I vlogged Positano instead because Paris would have just been so boring. We have done fun things, but I honestly feel like you need a week in Paris to actually enjoy it and like get everything done that you want to get done. But yeah, I thought I'd start the vlog this morning. We're actually heading to a pharmacy at the moment because I'm going to get some skincare for Sophia. Um, I wanted to get her like a gift while I'm over here and she loves skincare. So I yeah, messaged her and asked if she wanted anything. So I'm going to try and look for that stuff for her. I've heard French skincare is really, really good. We're having no luck with Ubers this morning. Actually, none in the area are accepting. So we're going to have to go downstairs and look for a taxi. I want to show you guys our room as well. We're staying at Hotel Bowman. A lot of people will ask me on Instagram. It's literally I think the best place we've stayed in city wise i mean obviously positano and milos and stuff are amazing but definitely a lot better than where we stayed at in like rome and stuff and the view outside we've got like a little balcony do you guys everything laid up because we're both starving right now so i just want to get this done super funky morning We've been trying to get an Uber for like 20 minutes. No one's accepting. All the taxis are taken. This is very stressful. We've made it. It only took us 20 minutes to get here. Not even. 20 minutes plus looking for a taxi. So. Accessories like everywhere in Paris, so we just walked to the closest one. Plain for starch. This place is called It's like really chewy. How is this gonna work? Okay, then you guys can see. I think this should be fine. I just quickly put a couple of shopping bags behind me because I actually want to show you guys the things that I picked up at the pharmacy and also a couple of things, um, well, the designer purchases that I've made while I've been here in Paris. I have also bought some clothes and stuff as well, but that's all packed in my suitcase. I am going to be filming a huge haul over on TikTok of everything that I bought from my whole Europe trip. So if you guys want to see like all the clothes I got and stuff and maybe if I pick up some more things in Dubai as well, then definitely head to my tiktok and make sure you guys follow me on there i'll start off with everything that i picked up from city pharma first so first thing this embryo lease late creme concentra i'm not gonna try and pronounce anything french because i'm just gonna butcher it anyway so i'll just say it with an aussie accent basically pretty much just like a moisturizer apparently it's really really good under makeup so 
hopefully that's good and if i end up loving it i'm just gonna have to like buy it off amazon for way more than what it actually is i also got a face sunscreen from this brand called riage actually look who knows what the brand is but apparently this is meant to be a good face sunscreen as well oh it's actually quite big and it's 50 spf which is amazing so got that also for sophia she really wanted this i actually also got one um for myself it's like a retinol but apparently it's not meant to be as strong as retinol a313 so i got her that she did send me this and uh told me that she really wanted it so that was like the whole point of me going over there but i just thought i'd get one for myself as well so i couldn't find one of the things that she sent me and then the other thing was gonna be way too heavy for my bag it only came in like a huge bottle so i found these honey lip oils which i feel like she'll love she loves like any lip products so i yeah just got these they're from the brand nukes and new xe um and i just thought the packaging was so cute it's like a proper like honey thing so got her that as well i also heard a lot about this it was actually pretty pricey i think it was like 20 euros for the mini this is a caudalie like facial mist i don't know was there probably really a point in getting the mini one maybe not but yeah, apparently this is meant to be actually good for your skin. Lastly, I also just got this um, body oil. It's like a shimmering body oil by the brand Nukes as well, N-U-X-E. So it just looks like this. I actually didn't try it in store. Love stuff like this for content. So I thought it might be nice. I don't know. It does smell good. I only put a really small amount on, so I can't really see how well that works yeah that's everything that i got from the city farmer next up i'll show you guys what i got from hermes honestly hermes was such a mess around i ended up waiting like two hours because i just had my heart set on getting this belt in a specific color and they didn't have it available i thought that maybe the flag flagship store would have but guys i was in there for an hour and a half waiting there were so many people in there but i did also want these as well these are just the black orange sandals i already have them in the white and the tan so got them in the black so i'm very happy with that hi sweetie and then i just had to make like a bag purchase while i was here i don't know it just felt right to get something from chanel while i'm in paris and this is actually my first chanel purchase from the actual store my white chanel bag is a vintage one so obviously i didn't get that from the actual store but i decided to pick up a little bag for myself while we're here this is her she's so cute so it's like a little top handle vanity with a long strap as well i don't really have anything this style so far like in my bag collection so i thought that was a nice one to add and there's actually so much room inside like you can fit so much in there i wish i could talk more in depth about everything and like my experiences and stuff but we're kind of in a rush at the moment because the car that's coming to pick us up is going to be here in 30 minutes and i still need a shower i'll only be like five minutes but yeah we need to like close up all the suitcases and stuff but i will see you guys when we're on the way to the airport Hi. 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 I'm just so in the of chicken. I didn't see it. Would it be? Would it pass? Yeah, any cash first. Yeah. Alexa streaming now, drifting off my couch. We walked down the street, she's walked a thousand times. show you guys around the room quickly this bathroom is huge little hallway my favorite part i've got my own little vanity setup to get ready in 
little bar area here as well. Tea making set. Perfect, it's in here. Pull this side. And we've got the fridge. Snacks. These actually look like good snacks too. Are you going to shop? No, baby. Where are you going to get from? We're going to have them downstairs in the fridge. Ginger shop. I don't know about ginger shop specifically. I'll shoot you. <laughs> I'll ginger shoot you. Huh? <laughs> Here's the ring. Very spacious. Look at this. How cute is that? And then the best part up here, we have the view. It's 2.30 in the morning, so most of the lights are off. Also, it's 2.30 in the morning and it's 36 degrees and so humid. But look at the gorgeous view we have and the Dubai Mall's right there. It's huge. Like, huge. Thank you. actually currently midday just turned 12 o'clock we did sleep in a little bit this morning i think we slept until like 10 we didn't really sleep till like 3 30 such a nice day today it's so hot though i've been outside for like three minutes and i'm already dying went to the gym this morning as you guys saw before the reason why the quality wasn't that good is because i actually got in trouble for filming i didn't know that you're not allowed to film on your camera in this whole hotel he's like it's okay if you do it on your phone but I don't know, maybe he thinks that this is like a professional situation. Maybe you're like not allowed to use it for commercial purposes. But anyways, we're going to head to the mall, which is really good because there's like a little walk bridge that connects the hotel to the mall. Here is the outfit of the day. I don't have time to do my makeup. So thank God my hair is still a little bit curly, so I look half decent. But this top that I'm wearing is Zara Pants H&M. Wearing my MS slides, LV shoulder bag. I don't know why this shirt looks so weird right now on camera. I feel like it looks better in person.
we are just in the desert now. I'm actually filming on my phone. I literally have not vlogged much because we've always done a shop. And it's so hard to vlog in the shops because it's just so loud in there. Like you can't hear me talk. But I've tried to like film stuff on my phone. So. Are you excited? Oh, I should have brought my GoPro. I'm so dumb. My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well In a voice memo from years ago We were laughing about some nonsense Oh how I miss those friends Circumstances made it so that I'll never see their faces for on the internet where I'll never really know what's going on but I miss my I mean I guess I could check in once in a while Hey guys, we are back in the room now. It's currently, it's like nine o'clock. As you guys saw, we went to the desert, but I left my camera at home. So I just got some footage on my phone. I wish I brought my GoPro, but I forgot. Um, and then we had Wingstop. Literally all day today, we just went shopping and it's really hard to vlog at the shops. Like, cause I think it's actually legal to vlog other people around you in Dubai. So yeah, it's really hard for me to vlog like in public here because I don't want to get in trouble like when I'm walking around the mall and stuff. But we're actually going to go back to the mall now. It doesn't close to like 1am so we're going to just get rid of like whatever cash we have left. And yeah, we're going to go with Michael and Christine. I'm not sure if I told you guys but we're basically like here to see them because they're here at the same time obviously. Just look at how they clean our room every time we leave. Like. We actually left it a mess, which I usually never do. The place usually is never a mess, but we were in such a rush. And they even made like a little towel thing for us. They put my bag aside nicely, like folded everything. It really went all out. Yeah, we're just gonna quickly shower and head to the mall because we're all like sandy. Obviously our faces were like covered because we had the, like they put the thing on us to like cover your face from the sand hitting your face and stuff. But like all over my chest and in my boobs, there's sand all in there. So I need to get that off before we go to the mall. And we're going to go to Cheesecake Factory as well and get some cheesecake. I'm going to show you guys as well what the city looks like at night because I promise I'll do that. And I actually didn't vlog last night as well because I'm like scared vlogging in public here. But... Oh, my camera's all fogged up. Do you guys see? That's how hot it is here. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's literally like thousands of people hanging around the fountain. I'm guessing there's a show. On soon, probably at like 9 o'clock or something. It's almost 9 o'clock now. But look how pretty the Burj Khalifa is at night. This is the outfit of the night. This is actually what I was wearing today as well when we went shopping today. Tops, naked wardrobe, the best place for basics. Pants on a dish. Shoes and there's... <laughs> Thank you. 
It doesn't taste like cheesecake, hey. Currently 2.20 in the morning. I'm just starting to pack all of our stuff. I honestly have so much stuff to pack. Like it's not even funny. Just gotta organize how we're actually gonna pack everything because we've got so much stuff. In this little suitcase, I've got all of James's dirty clothes. We got like a massive Eiffel Tower for Paris, which I've wrapped in this just so that it doesn't get damaged, hopefully, fingers crossed. And then I also put James's slides in there because I was trying to figure out what to put on the sides. So yeah, that fits in there perfectly. I'll probably fit more things in here if we need. So I'm just gonna leave that open. And then I've got my two suitcases here. We've also got James's big duffels. So I think I'm gonna put my, my Chanel bag in there. So yeah, cause that won't fit in my little suitcase. Look at all this shit that I have out. James's suitcase, this will be pretty easy, I think, to pack cause I basically ripped it at all like the other day. I've also got to like repack my suitcase too. I'm just gonna set up my camera here because I want to show you guys what I got from the mall today. We went into Sephora and I actually saw they had Amica there, which is like a hair care brand that you can't get in Australia. So I got this line of stuff because apparently it's really good for like damaged hair. My hair is actually very damaged from this heat, uh, from this trip, from the heat. And also like from like heat from her hair curlers and stuff. I've been curling my hair so much and straightening it. So yeah, I got the instant repair cream and the multitask repair treatment. I was going to get the shampoo and conditioner too, but I'm like, that's just going to be way too heavy to bring home. I also got the YSL all hours foundation in the shade DW1 because I actually can't find a shade at home so I got it here and then I just chucked everything in the star bag to make it easier I went into this shop called Oisha I got this little activewear set that I was wearing today it's so comfy and it actually looks so nice on um, it's like seamless and then I also got like the matching Sports bra. I went into Massimo Dutti and I got this dress. I'll insert in the footage of me wearing it, but it's so nice and it's such a nice like length on me as well. It's such a classy, beautiful dress. And then from Zara, I got this top. I feel like I got more from Zara. I know, again, I'll insert the footage of me wearing this and it's like low back. The long pants as well. High waisted pants. I don't know if I'll wear them together at home, but they look really nice on their own as well. And then I got this white dress, which looks not that good off, but it actually looks amazing on. That's, I think, everything that I got from the shops like while I've been in Dubai, I think. This is actually out, so I'll just show you guys. But I got this skirt from Sandro while we were in Paris. It's so cute. So nice. It was on sale too. 